I hated this course, Engineering and the Environment. Welcome back to the channel, my name is Dion, I'm a software engineer. So in this video, we're going to talk about my software engineering degree. So I went to York University, which is basically just a community school, which means that people from all over the GTA come to the school, but they don't actually live at the school. So the school is mainly known for its liberal arts, but in the past decade or so, it added more STEM majors. So let's not waste any more time and get into it. Okay, so this is my transcript right here. It shows all the courses that I've taken at this school. Uh, also, as a note, I didn't take only four years of software engineering. I actually took an initial two years of chemistry because that's what I went into right after high school. And after two years, I was like, okay, you know what? I don't want to do chemistry anymore because my goal then was to become a pharmacist, but I didn't want that anymore. So went into software engineering and yeah. So let's uh, actually get into it. Also, some of the courses that I took during my time in chemistry were translated to actual credits in that software engineering program. So I didn't have to repeat those courses. First up is physics. Okay, well, physics uh, and chemistry, they're both pretty all right. There's nothing much to say about it. It's just physics and chemistry. Uh, I did pretty all right in those. Renaissance engineering, that's where I learned um, some stuff about engineering, to be honest, I don't remember at this point. Uh, Eng 1102, engineering design principles. So yeah, again, another intro to engineering course. ECS uh, 1028, discrete math for engineers. Okay, so for those that are in math majors, or I guess computer science majors, you guys know what discrete math is and Honestly, I really hate it because it's mostly theoretical and logical math, something that I can't grasp. Uh, Object-oriented programming. This is where we did a bunch of Java stuff. This was actually my second intro to programming course in software engineering. So yeah, we learned Java here, just a bunch of uh, programming basics, inheritance, well, that's object-oriented programming basics, inheritance, uh, if statements, for loops, um, yeah, just that general stuff. And I guess the last course here would be computational thinking. This is another programming course, but used in the programming language MATLAB. I don't like using MATLAB at all. It's used for, I don't know, creating 3D models. I, I took this course... Um, in my first year, I still don't know uh, what exactly it's used for. I just know it's used for making 3D models, but anything else more, I don't know. Also, any math-related courses, I absolutely hate it, except with some exceptions of topics in calculus. All right, so I guess entering my second year. Uh, also, this, since this is a engineering program, I had to take about six courses in one semester and probably like seven courses in another semester, which is why you guys see so many courses here. Uh, it was honestly just a pain in that. Okay, so physics, I still have physics, as you can see. Uh, math, um, pretty standard. I had statistics, calculus, and discrete math or logical math, I should say. Uh, two other engineering courses as well which taught me uh, engineering management. And the other one was essentially a communications course, but engineering related. ECS 2311, so this is software development project. This was actually a pretty fun course because the course was revolved around solving a problem and creating software to solve that problem. So the class was divided into um, groups. And in my group, we had like a person that basically carried me through this course. They essentially did mostly all the work and what the other members were left with, including myself, were the testing. Uh, but in this course, I learned a lot about like software, other software tools like Jenkins, learned about CircleCI, learned about basically CI and CD stuff. 
stuff that like nobody really wants to deal with or stuff that people have to deal with in the beginning but never touch after that uh, software tools to be honest i don't really remember much about this course uh events object oriented programming this was actually an extension to that java course in during first year this course was itself was actually pretty fun uh, because during the labs, we had like weekly weekly labs during this course. And during those weekly labs, we did like a bunch of Java stuff. Um, we had like lab tests as well. That was surprisingly actually pretty fun. Uh, computer organization. Oh no, I remember this course. I hated this course a lot because it did, it did deal with a lot of hardware stuff. It also had some calculations related to hardware. So... Yeah, in reality, or in essence, I did not like a bunch of the courses I took. Uh, fundamentals of data structures. This, I wish I paid more attention to it because this was something that was actually important that is often used in my day-to-day -day life. Well, not really. It's mostly just arrays and objects that I use, but um, this is kind of important. Pretty important, I will say, because it talks about it storing certain it talks about different organizations of storing data. Uh, yeah, so that was my second year overall. Um, I did decently well. Or during summer of that year, I did co-op at one of the top five banks. It's whatever. Now, entering my third year. All right, so third year, since I'm still engineering, I had to take like a bunch of random courses. Basically, I took a social science course, a philosophy course, or a psychology course and a, another sociology course okay so skipping that this is engineering and the environment so this one i don't even remember what it was about so we're going to skip it uh professional engineering practice another engineering course which i don't remember so we're going to skip that as well. So ECS 3311, software design. This is where we learned a bunch of software patterns and I guess software architectures as well, because you have to apply them. Here we had to create like a project or we had to create like a program um, that basically satisfy all the requirements uh, in the final project. This was actually a decently hard course, hard in the sense that there was a lot of work to it. You were basically programming day and night for this final project. And if you didn't complete it, then you basically failed that uh, assignment. Okay, so operating system fundamentals. This course I actually remember pretty well because uh, this is where I learned a lot about like hardware and uh, operating system stuff. Uh, this is where I learned about like RAM, Okay, this is where I learned about like storage of data in your computer. And this is also where I learned about like um, what a kernel is and whatnot. If you ask me now what a kernel is, I wouldn't know how to answer it because it's been like a few years. But um, yeah, it was a pretty fun course, I will say. Okay, so here, ECS 3215 embedded systems. Okay, so this is programming, but with microcontrollers. If you knew how to program with microcontrollers, you would probably succeed in this course, but I did not know how to do that. And even after being taught, um, I wasn't that interested in it. So I basically barely tried during this course. And yeah, it is what it is. Uh, log digital logic design deals with logic gates. So I feel like it's kind of like a physics course, but a bunch of logic gates, so I guess it's related to what I'm doing or related to software engineering. Uh, design and analysis of algorithms, ECS 3101. Okay, so here, D+. Plus. I got D plus in this course. Funny thing about this was that I actually failed this course. After the final exam, my prof curved everybody's marks by 10% upwards. So essentially, I was supposed to get like I don't know, a 40 something, I don't know, a 47, a 49. After that curve, I was put at a D plus. So luckily I did not fail that course, but again, super hard course. 
uh, deals with a lot about like algorithm and understanding theory. Uh, some logical math is applied here, but overall, a course I wish I paid a lot more attention to. Okay, so here is my final year in a uh, university. So these are my final courses. Um, yeah, uh, a lot more engineering courses. I will say uh, now here, uh, building e-commerce systems. This is a project I, uh, that was also really fun that I did with like a couple of my friends. So basically we had to get in groups. Um, luckily the groups were chosen by like ourselves and we get to, or we have to make a program, not a program, but like an app that will solve the problem in the class. So initially we're given a problem and we have to solve it using certain patterns or certain tools that we learn in that class. So like we learned some stuff about architecture. We have to use those architectures as well. We learned stuff about UML diagrams, sequence diagrams, uh, use case diagrams, whatnot. That was actually pretty fun. Um, overall, probably my favorite course by far. Now we have um, 4315 Mission Critical Systems. I hated this course as well. A lot of theoretical stuff. And this type of um, software design, like it did have to do, it did have to relate with soft, creating software, but more so mission critical systems. Uh, 4313 Event Software Engineering, again, another place where I learned software architecture, software patterns as well. Super fun course, I will say. Uh, 43413 Software Engineering Testing. This course was pretty all over the place because we learned testing, traditional testing, we somehow used machine learning here. It didn't really make sense at all because we use some regression testing, or I mean, we use some machine learning uh, approach to just analyze some testing data, but that wasn't really related to testing at all for some reason. Yeah, so testing, you just learn traditional methods of testing, more so theoretical stuff, uh, 4312, software engineering requirements so this one more so to do with gaining getting requirements from the business side of software engineering so the way it works is that software engineers talk to or software developers talk to the business people which are the people that kind of come up with the ideas to kind of like generate money for the from the software so this course was all about getting information in a way that catered towards software engineers or software developers. So I would say a decently well-designed course. I think there's a lot more than there should be in this course, but I really actually enjoyed it. Uh, what was this uh, 3361 user interfaces? Okay course, uh, there's not much to say about it. I did not like it too much. Uh, 3421 introduction to database systems this was a pretty fun course i would say because this is where i learned uh postgresql and like a lot of database queries yeah i would say this is actually pretty fun because this is also where we learn like database designs and entity relationship diagrams yeah i think i think those are still used in today's um modern society i don't know in today's software architecture design but um yeah i will say overall a fun course is where i learned uh, relational databases uh 3342 okay this is a prerequisite for mission critical systems not much to say about it essentially it's similar and 3214 computer network protocols and application this just an okay course and you know, learn more about like the different layers of like the osi uh layer system uh not much to it just learn more so general stuff rather than more in-depth stuff but yeah that's essentially my software engineering degree yeah so that was my software engineering degree by no means is software engineering easy because i'm pretty sure you could tell by the amount of courses i've had taken like year after year like it's not something that is easy so i definitely don't recommend it unless you really want to become a unless you really want that software engineering degree 
um, whether or not it's worth it, I'll leave that for another video. Anyways, if you guys like the video, please hit the like button. If you guys like the content I'm putting out here, uh, consider subscribing. I make content about software engineering stuff. Anyways, um, peace.